Hello everybody, I'm PC Wizard, and welcome back to episode number four of my Feet the Beast Mindcrack Mod Pack series on the Team Raven server. So, we left off last time saying we were going to work on a little bit of sorting, uh, especially for the farms that the golems are going to be tending. And in the in off camera, I did a little bit of sorting here, um, just because I'm doing some excavating with a turtle so I needed to do something really quick to get some materials sorted out and everything so uh, eventually this is going to get replaced we're gonna do a much larger sorting system but for now this is definitely serving the purpose I've already assigned these chests down here to uh, sort the various items from the farm but I haven't actually hooked the farm up yet so we're gonna go and do that now and you might notice down in my toolbar here, I'm actually carrying the golems around with me. That's because I caused a little bit of an issue. You see, when I started excavating all this down here, it cut the wall away at the side of the, the farms here. You see both these wood walls over here, they got cut away. And the golems fell to their on not quite death. They uh, surprisingly didn't get hurt, as far as I could tell. Uh, but they just stood down there not doing anything. So I had to grab them, bring them back up here, and obviously close the walls back off for for their own safety. So we're going to drop these guys back in here and let them get back to work, doing what they got to do. And fill up this chest. And as you can see, I've, I've upgraded it to a gold chest just because it had to hold a bunch of items that was there. And we're now going to work on getting this piping put in now like I said the storage that is currently in place is going to get replaced and part of replacing that is also going to be upgrading it from the typical build craft pipes um, just because they're you know a little inefficient um, it's possible that I might upgrade them. Oh, shoot. We got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Because I need to get a redstone engine on this pipe that is not in a spot that can get a redstone engine on it. All right. Uh, back to the drawing board. I'll be right back. Okay. So, going to go ahead and do some pneumatics. I'm um, actually going to mix it with the buildcraft. So I put a chest in here to pull everything out and run it up into the current sorting system for the moment. And like I said, later on I'll be upgrading that. But in the meantime, I do have a transposer set up. And this should be enough to get us going. Let's see. So start with the transposer in here and I think that's the right way and then some pneumatic tubes where are we going over in this corner all right There yet? No, gotta go up. There we go. Alright, that's connected. And let's see what we got. Now I need to hook up the timer for it and some wiring. And that should be able to do it. I didn't think about running a redstone off tubes into it, so hopefully this is going to work just fine. Not where I wanted it, but I'm not going to argue at this point. Nope, that's not going to work. Let's try coming this way with it. Oh, I guess it did work. It did pull something out, didn't it? Alright, so that's running every two seconds. Uh, for right now, I do want to. Got to be a little quicker than that. 
Uh, no, I'm going to leave it at two seconds. I bet that's going to catch up. Because, yeah, I have a feeling that, you know, these guys are caught up with the harvesting now, it looks like. So, um, I'm betting every two seconds is going to work just fine. Yeah, and I got plenty of room in there, so I think that's going to be good. All right, so now stuff's going to be coming up this pipe there into here. Yep. And feeding on up through. All right, so let's go check up here now. And up here. It's going to come in this pipe there around and into here. There we go. All right, and obviously very quickly I'm going to need to do something about this chest. Um, it's just an iron chest right now, so I'm probably going to do at least a gold upgrade on it. And the other ones probably aren't quite as bad, but I know I'm going to go through a lot of the wheat. I do have plans for it, but I don't know how quickly I'm going to be able to get those um, set up. But I do have something else planned right now, so let's move on to that. Okay, so I had a little accident the other day. Um, I had accidentally left my um, engines running here, and these machines stopped working, and the pipes were overloaded with energy and blew the engines up. So we're going to upgrade this and get it replaced. I'm going to use these redstone, ener the redstone energy conduit. Now this is something new that I've just started working with and it, from everything I've seen so far it's really cool stuff. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting this running. So this might be a little bit of an experiment as I work on getting this all set up in here. Um, as you can see I've got some lava tanks right here. This is lava that I actually brought up here by hand. Uh, from the excavating I was doing downstairs I ran into some pockets of lava so I just scooped them up brought them up put them into the tanks because uh, what I had found originally was just some fairly small uh, a fairly small pool uh, so I'm gonna work on trying to get a system set up that I can get more and a system to draw lava directly out of the nether and bring it over here. Uh, I'll of course get a much bigger tank set up for that and probably actually end up moving it downstairs but for now this should work right here. Um, so I want to bring the lava it should be able to bring the lava directly over the top using these liquid ducts. Just like this, with a redstone signal to get the lava flowing. And let's see, need to make sure it's directing the right way. So I use my Omni Wrench. There it goes. All right, and look at that automatically flowing into the end, into these. And it looks like they're actually pointing the wrong way. Yep, there we go. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, so now we should see. Yeah, we got energy in these. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's put that in there. All right. And this should start spitting it out pretty quickly. Now, the advantage here is, um, from my understanding, this redstone conduit will hold energy. It'll fill up and then stop. Like ex It'll stop accepting more, unlike the um, conductive pipes. Conductive pipes will just keep taking energy in until they overload and explode. And so from my understanding is, once these machines are done running, if we take this stuff out, they're not going to accept any more energy beyond this. So what's going to happen is these are supposed to fill up 
and then once these fill up it should tell the engines to cycle down so that they won't run nearly as much now these will heat up to 1100 degrees and at that point they should be outputting I believe it's four Minecraft joules so pretty good power there I mean I've got 12 you know, a total of 12 joules getting outputted here which is definitely far more than what I need here um, but obviously there's going to be a couple more machines added in and stuff and I can get let me make some more levers so I can just turn off individual machines as I want alright there's three levers Let's go ahead and shut that one off at least. Let's see where these are. All right, so these are okay, fully heated, putting out a solid four Minecraft jewels. And let's jump ahead and see what happens over time. All right, as you can see here, the energy is staying right around 9,750. Between there. Um, between 9,750 and 9,755, pretty much right in that area. And the power output has dropped to 0.5 uh, Minecraft joules. So I have a feeling this is basically where it's going to stabilize itself. It may drop here to 0.4. And if it, if, it w if it was to drop to 0.4, I have no doubt that it's actually going to completely stabilize and actually re maybe reverse itself in the amount of energy stored. But it definitely seems to have stabilized right there. So... I feel confident at this point that we have a nice safety net here to in case I forget and leave them on things shouldn't blow up on me so um, I like it it's a good start now like I said need to get more lava need to find out a you know more reliable constant source well it didn't take long for me to realize that uh, this is definitely not going to be enough lava so I am have decided right now that I need to work on getting a tank set up to store the lava and you can see I've already got the rolling machine in place and loaded it up with a whole bunch of iron ingots start making the iron plates that I need to get the various iron tank blocks and I'll show you what I'm, where I'm going to put it is right down here I have started extending this floor out um, eventually it's going to cover this entire area but I decided right here is where the tanks gonna go and I've already got the liquid ducts coming up into here and we're gonna be piping directly out of this pool right down here now, I'm not sure how big that pool actually is but I know the ravine there's a ravine back here that um, you can see the lava down in there that there's quite a lot of lava back in there so I just don't know how far back I'm gonna have to go to reach it but um, I will work on these tank pieces and be right back with you okay I believe I have all the parts we need for this now and it's gonna be a fairly large tank cuz I can if it can be large make it large right um, planning on a 7x7 seven seven for this. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Perfect. And fill the bottom in. And you see I put a valve right here in the bottom center, right where the uh, pipe connects to it. So we should be all set on that part. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six high. That's exactly what I want. And it goes to here. Man, these go fast when you start placing them, don't they? All 
right, and then on to this one. Should be there. Yep. All right, and then the top is going to be solid. I could put a valve in the top, but I don't think I want to, because most of my machines, I think, are probably going to end up getting moved down to this level anyway. So it doesn't really make sense to try to drag stuff out the top. And of course I'm one short. Alright, I've got what, seven more of these valves. Well, you know what? I might as well. Not that I'll ever tap into it, but let's just toss it in there. Just in case. We'll put two on each side here. Spaced apart so I can tap them if I need to. Without worrying about them connecting to each other. And get this filled in. Well, it took a while to show up. Like that. And let's see. Okay, that's it for that wall. pieces here. Oh, you're kidding me. Alright, uh, I need to make a couple more pieces. Be right back. Okay, here we go. I got the last two pieces. One, two, and boom, it's a tank. It's a nice big tank, too. Come on, update. There we go. 4,700 buckets of lava get to go in there. Alright, so now we need to work on getting this pipe pulled all the way up here. Uh, now, of course, we do, ha do have the added joy of it being well, situated directly over a flowing pool of lava. So it shouldn't be too much, of a too much trouble, right? Oh, slimes, gotta get the slimes. I need slime balls. I do have a soul shard that I could bust out to use for this, but let's grab these slime balls real quick. Come on, give them up, guys. What do we get? Six out of there. Not too bad. That'll definitely cover me for the project. I have in mind. Oh wow, there's more over here. Uh, there's a couple more at least. At least one more, right? Yep, one more. Good, 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 good. Alright. And now I should be able to go, because of the way I laid the pipe out up above, I should be able to actually go straight up with it. like this come on almost there there we go awesome it connected perfect all right now I just need to grab the Omni wrench the Omni tool I think I've got one up here there should be one right back here Right there, there we go. All right, drop back down here. And we'll take the shortcut. And get shot at by a skeleton. All right, there we go. And 
connected. There we go. Now that will probably actually drain this part very quickly, but at least I'll be able to get a better idea of what I need to do to get back in there to get it moved a little bit where it's going to get more lava. Whoop! <laughs> and that's empty already. My goodness. All right. Well, I'm just going to let this kind of uh, work itself out and then work on getting more lava at another time like scooping up that pool that's sitting down there all right in the meantime let me show you what else i've been working on um, had so much fun with the those golems for the farm and by the way you may have noticed that there is one sitting over here because he fell down the stairwell and so I just picked him up and put him up there because I'm also running out of storage room for a lot of my farm materials so I need to work on something a little better for that so but I've been working with these iCraft blocks and I really love them and been working on my Thomcraft room and decided to make it a little bigger and I know the video tends to darken things up, so I don't know how well you can see everything here, but nice black Zycraft Zy Zy blocks around the outside. Uh, these are structure blocks. Really like the pattern of them. And then just kind of mixed to match some other things. Got a wrath lamp in the center to really help illuminate this. And so it should be good to go. Now I just need to work on getting things placed. And part of that is going to be making some new Thomcraft items, which I will be doing in the next episode. And I am PC Wizard. Thanks for watching.